Now, let's tell you about how a Nigerian is giving hope to people at the Polish border despite the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. Until the war, Dr. Awofa Gogo Abiti was a surgeon and lecturer at a university in Ukraine. But he fled to Poland to escape the war and documented his journey. In this piece, it speaks about the racism he faced at the border and the work he is doing to help Africans trying to flee the Russia-Ukrainian conflict. Here is a story. I've not been able to sleep since I arrived in the country. So it's like in the course of five days, I haven't had more than two hours sleep. And I won't sleep until I see something being done. My nightmare started in front of the border where we couldn't sleep. Authorities were very cold. They didn't answer to anyone. And when we arrived there, I met some other black guys who told me they've been there since about 11 a.m. Some Ukrainian lady lost consciousness because I was already close to the first um, barricade. And, um, she lost consciousness and they were yelling, Lika, yeah? It means like, is there a doctor here? Is there a doctor here? And I, I was with my backpack and I didn't want to volunteer, but I, I, because I know I was going to lose the line and I've been sent back a lot of times, but I still went <laughs> to, to rescue this woman who had actually diabetic um, coma. So we tried to give her um, some sugary stuff and then she, she, was, she, was, she had some consciousness, so she got back. And I went, I met the Ukrainian soldier who was there, the border patrol guy, and I said, please, I was already in the front. Could you please take me back, please, to that place? I just rescued the person. And he looked at me and just passed. So I had to go back. <laughs> to, the, to, the, to, the, to the starting point. It continued till midnight. We could we barely moved an inch and Ukrainians just kept moving. At some point the guys brought some wood and they started making fire and they started putting hot water and people could at least have some tea to drink. So we went back to get some tea to drink and on our way back, the, the, the soldier was like, you don't go there. He was almost trying to push us with his gun. Don't go there. You guys do not have conscience. You, you're you not letting women and kids pass. And he picked up the phone and called the, the, um, the, um, the other guys at the other side and, say, and said, don't let these people pass. The Ukrainian girl who was with us took our passports and tried to explain to the lady that these people are humans as well. Clearly, she said, you guys are not our priority. So they letting us pass finally is because we were the last already. No back to push us to anymore. So finally, I'm free from uh, Putin. I escaped Ukraine. It was a very crazy adventure. It took several days of risk. So I don't want to look so much into the future. For now, I have a task in front of me. The task is how can I? in my little way, provide medical assistance to our people. I'm willing to provide to anyone, but people who need most are our people in this case, because they are treated like animals. The human spirit is indeed strong. Well done, Dr. Gogo Abite.